really revamped this space this space used to be the extra room in the house where people stay sometimes but i rarely get visitors and we still have an extra room for visitors when they come or if they come okay so yeah i decided to just take over this space and revamp it i painted i changed a lot of things here i removed the curtains here and went for blinds i got a work table a work chair i also have a bathroom that comes with a toilet i rarely use the toilet so i use that space as a storage space so that is where i keep some of my big equipment like my lights so that this room is not cluttered because the room is quite small if i decide to keep my lights and all of my equipment inside the room the room is going to get cluttered and it's going to stress me out so this corner here i love it so much these chairs we made them for ada and nello on cut our podcast channel so we made these chairs for us to sit on while we film i chose this color because i love pinks okay this is more like a um i think this is burgundy right so i love it it's dark enough not to get stained easily but it's still bright and colorful enough for me aside the white background which is basically the white walls and the white furniture the color scheme for this room is basically gray pink and nude these are colors i really like the reason why i went more for gray is because we have a black suit problem in post harcourt and i have realized that over time things that are gray do not get stained with black suits as much as things that are not gray okay so i think they get stained basically but they don't show because they are gray up here i have some decor i have this picture of my babies i love this picture a lot i love this clock it's just a decorative piece at this point even though sometimes i used to tell the time this is a burner for burning scents and those are electric candles then over here i have my bible and my notepad so whenever i come to do my bible study this is the corner where i sit down here i have this little side stool i got this from our living room we hardly use it so i just brought it here on top of this cube storage unit i have these frames i've had them for a very long time this love here i wrote it myself and just framed it and then i have candles here so i burn candles from time to time especially when i'm filming or when i just want to distress and then i have this pom-pom grass in this vase that i've had for a very long time over 10 years i can't even remember how and when i got it down here i have a mirror then i also have this box that says the zoo if you've been watching my channel for a while you know where i got the box from and also got the name from then i have this basket here it's more of a decorative piece but i put things in it from time to time then i have my books here i rarely read them okay fun fact i rarely read them so down here i have these gray storage bins i actually got them from amazon i'm going to leave a link to them in the description box so inside these bins here i don't really have much there in two of them i have my gym wear which i hardly use okay <laughs> Then in this one, I have some extra candles and scented oils. Then I also have these plants here. These are an artificial plants. I prefer artificial plants for decor purposes because I don't have time to keep any plants alive. This is my full-size mirror. I love this mirror so much. I love seeing it. It also makes my room look a little bit bigger than it is. Um, but yeah, I love looking at my mirror these things on the wall like i said they are sound pads that are to help reduce the echo in this room but i think i have to get more because i'm still hearing a bit of echo i actually think i'm supposed to cover this whole wall with them but i really don't know how it's going to look in the long run so that is why i'm just going to leave it like this for now and then this is my work desk okay if you've been watching my channel again like i said you know where i got this monitor from it was a gift from my husband this chair was also a gift from my husband that's an external speaker then in here i have my pens then i also have this mirror and a candle and this here is my laptop it is the 2021 mac m1 pro i love it when i first got it it frustrated me a lot i felt like returning it or selling it okay but right now i'm growing to love it even more i got this laptop cover from amazon i'm going to link it in the description box and then in here i have these drawers where i store 
a lot of random things these are actually cutlery racks this gray and black but i bought them and used them to organize my drawers because i have a lot of random things here if i didn't have this thing inside here this drawers are going to be a mess so yeah i always have wipes because i'm always wiping one thing or the other inside this drawer i also have some random things these are what i use to organize wires i actually showed this on instagram so yeah i just put all my wires in here and they work really well i got these bags on aliexpress a long time ago i think they were a bag of um, 50 or so i'm going to link them in the description box i have some extra data cards here and these are my lenses then in here i have my previous laptop i'm going to be setting it up for my kids i have my earphone and my zoom recorder for my podcast let me quickly show you what's inside this wardrobe in here i have my hair products and my hair tools and then down here i have all my makeup organized as well these are the lights that i film with i'm going to leave them in the description box as well i love them so much they are remote controlled so you can reduce the lighting you can increase it you can change the lighting from white to warm to cold i normally use the cold light setting because it looks more like daylight um yeah you can dim the light you can increase the lighting anyhow you want it i really love it and then here is my camera i use the canon m50 but again i showed you my lenses so i use the 16 mm the 30 mm and a 50 mm my kids spot the 50 mm so i ordered the 56 mm because it takes great pictures i'm going to link all of that in the description box but what i film my vlogs with most time is the 16 mm then i use the 30 mm if i want a closer you know more crisp shots but for my sit down videos like this video i'm currently using the 30 mm and i don't have my lights on because i'm receiving a bit of daylight so i'm just using natural lights from my windows but i'm going to show you what it looks like when i put on the artificial lights then i also use this tripod i got on amazon i love this tripod so much um, right now because i am filming against the window and on my table and because i cannot extend the height of this tripod so much I am propping it up with my MacBook um, pack and also my puzzle pack. This is a pack of puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. So I just stacked the two of them and then they are both on top of my table and I'm getting a very good shot, okay? So this is a tripod I use when I'm vlogging or if I want to use my tripod. I'm also going to link it down below. I love it so much. It has several settings. I think the height is about 7 feet or 8 feet. I'm not sure. I'm going to put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. Um, you can rotate it anyhow you want. It can help you keep your hands stable while you are filming. So I love it so much. So right now the lights are on. They are a bit too bright so I can just dim them by uh, using the remote control here. So I can dim the lights. I can also increase them and I can change the type of lighting so this is ooh, that's really harsh um yeah so i can make it warm like this is white light not this warm i think this is warm or oh, this is warm um the other one was white so i can if you want the light to be warm um yeah so then i can put them at 20 percent can put that 50 percent can put 100 percent anyway that's the remote control for me let me put it back at 20 but to be able to use this light in Nigeria, I had to buy this extension box. I think it's called a step down or a voltage converter or something like that. Again, I'm going to link it in the description box. Um, yeah, I had to buy it so that I can use these lights because I think these lights are 110 while we have 220 in Nigeria or something like that. I don't know. I just asked my husband and I bought the one he recommended, okay? For microphones, whenever I'm vlogging or I am staying close to my um camera when i'm using the 16 mm i use this road mic because i'm staying close to the camera and it can pick up my voice really well it can also pick up my voice from this distance but the quality is not so great so whenever i am filming with my 30 mm or my 50 mm or 56 mm i use this deity microphone it's a love mic i love it so much i don't have to put it on or whatever i just plug and play okay just plug it in and i start talking and it records my voice really well do you guys like the sound of this audio yes yeah, so 
yeah it was a very good buy for me i love it so much this lav mic so i'm going to link it in the description box again like i said but the road mic is also very good for the longest time i used the road mic alone and i also still use it whenever i'm filming with other people because this lav mic works better when it is pinned on each person and it's only just i have just two or so so yeah that's pretty much it i think i've shown you guys everything yeah um it, the space right now is perfect for me right now it doesn't mean i won't make changes in the future i always make changes I love making changes to my space um, yeah it's something I can control so I always try to control it <laughs> okay um, yeah so I love this space so much I love the, you know staying here to film I love the quality of my video right now the quality I'm getting from my lenses and my you know laptop and all of that I'm really satisfied with it for right now we we'll always keep improving but I want to encourage you guys just know that these things were not bought in a day these things were not achieved in a day i started filming in 2019 with just my phone facing a window okay and for me i still feel like my videos were good then even though they are better now but i didn't have crappy videos then okay so it's all about the content you want to deliver how you're delivering it and making the best of what you have okay making the most of what you have or the best of anyway you guys get the point right yeah so um that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys